This is some fancy restaurant. Looks like a scene from Desperate Housewives. <laughs> I hope everyone is well. So today I am in Polanco in Mexico City on Avenida Presidente Mazarik. This street is one of the most exclusive streets in Mexico City. Exclusive brands, exclusive restaurants, it's where the rich live and the rich come to play. We're starting at the very east side and we're gonna walk all the way down and I'm going to show you some highlights. Nice, someone parked right in front of me. I'm still here. So this is a famous apartment complex. These two towers, I would say, are one of the big symbols of Polanco. And um, Polanco, where this street is located, is one of the most exclusive neighborhoods of Mexico City. Apartments overlooking Chapultepec Park here can cost up to $15 million. I don't come to this area very often, just not my scene really, but this fish tank, yes, fish tank, always makes me laugh. The window is a fish tank. There are some high streets in England where I'm from where it would not last very long on a Friday night. I'm amazed it's still as it is. I was just speaking to the guy who works here and he told me the glass is bulletproof because probably, you know, drunk people Friday night probably might want to give it a little of a smack just outside some French soap brand. Probably know it. I know my mum likes this brand. But interestingly, they have bikes outside. <laughs> Apparently it's for promotion, obviously, but also they have women who live around here who uh, order from the shop and they go and deliver. It's the kind of thing you see in a place like this. And next to this fancy soap shop, there is a gold exchange. You can come here with your expensive watch or jewelry and get hard currency back. And I find this really, really interesting. It's here in a rich area. I know someone who runs a chain of these shops and he was telling me how, yeah, often they're located in rich areas. You know, rich people, they get low on cash. Sometimes things aren't the way they seem. Of course, one of the great things about Mexico City, it doesn't matter that we're on Mazarik Street. It's fancy apartments and fancy brands and restaurants and all that nonsense. You still have the good old Torta street stand selling fantastic Mexican street food. We're just on the other side of the roundabout and this statue in the middle, this gentleman standing high, as you can probably guess this is Presidente Mazarik. This was given as a gift. Polanco is very popular with tourists. You can see one of the tourist buses making its way through here. This area here has some big brands, Boss, Bali, and just around this corner there is Gucci also. It's a really, really hot day today, so I'm sitting down having one of these Viva 100s. You see them advertised around the city at the moment and there were some guys selling them on the street so I thought I'd give it a try. And they taste pretty good. Quite like Red Bull. I don't usually drink these energy drinks but it's a hot walk. And just here is a little area with restaurants and bars. To the right is an Irish bar. And this little area you tend to see a lot of expats hanging out and you will have noticed that in the middle of the street is very nice it has beautiful shrubbery and plants and new benches streets very clean with granite all along the floor 
This was all completed a few months ago. The work started in 2013. The government paid for half of the project and the rest being raised by raising taxes for businesses in the area. <laughs> Over there is the Cartier brand and I'm guessing this M stands for the name of the road. Here is Louis Vuitton as well. Apparently what happened in the earthquake, this place became more like it is today. Before this kind of shops and embassies, places like that was concentrated in the Zona Rosa area of the city. After the earthquake, lots of parts of Mexico City changed. These places you see here moved into the Polanco district. Just over here on the left is a Mac store. This is a reseller and there seems to be some kind of event going on because they're building a video wall. It is inside. This is some fancy restaurant. It looks like a scene from Desperate Housewives in there. Somehow I've been exposed to that ridiculous TV show. Okay guys, well, I'm going to head off now. You can see in the distance the end of the road. If you genuinely enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like. It really helps the channel spread. And please do leave a comment. I really enjoy reading your comments and learning as well. And if you're a new viewer, Please do subscribe to Mexico. I show Mexico how I see it. Very happy here and I just want to share with people my great impression of Mexico. So until next time everybody, hasta luego.